Izzy and I'm on my way to the Josh Groban concert. So I'm super excited. Um, I don't know if I've said anything about this in the other posts that I've been doing lately. But um, yeah, I bought my tickets months and months ago. I actually went and saw them in April. And I know I did do a video on that. And I went with my mom, but the seats were so kind of not very good. <laughs> he was like this big that um, I decided to um, buy tickets, well, one ticket for me to go see him in Stockton. So I'm on my way right now and I got a rental car so it's super nice and I am like enjoying the heck out of it. The only bad thing is it doesn't have cruise control so that kind of sucks, but whatever, that's what I get for buying the cheapest. We'll step up from the cheapest. Anyways, I, yeah, I have glow stick for him. Not for him, but like to use during concert. I really, out of all the musicians that I love, and I, I'm a music fan, so I love a lot of musicians. He is like my absolute favorite right now. Um, there's not anyone else that I would go this length to see perform live. I'm going by myself, and I spent 150 bucks on the rental car for three days. I spent 100 bucks on the ticket, and then all the gas and crap that it takes to drive two and a half hours to the arena and two and a half hours back. So, anyways, that's that. I, yeah, I wouldn't spend it for anyone else, anyone else but him. But he's so awesome that I have to. And I'm excited. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm in Stockton right now and uh, the weather is actually kind of nice. It's warm, but nice. And I found this beautiful park area and it's right across the street, or actually right across this big river thing from the stadium. So... Uh, there's the stadium, and here's the river port thingy, I don't know. And behind me is this big um, park area. There's this big shady area. I think it's for, like, outside bands or something. And way over there, which you can't see, is this fountain thing that has fountains, like, go off over and over again. So there's a bunch of, like, little kids just freaking out and having a great time. It's really nice here. I love the architecture. But I called my parents and I was like, I'm here and it's beautiful and the architecture is lovely. And they were like, yeah, and it's also really unsafe, so be careful. And I was like, oh. So I'm excited. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I think it's like 4.30, so i got a few more hours. Concert's at 7.30. And I'm excited. All right, bye. Okay, on a separate side note while I'm still here, I can actually hear them practicing. <laughs> it's so awesome. You are seeing me at my geekiest moment right now. Well, no, I can get really geeky, but it's still awesome. <laughs> I wish you could hear it, but yeah, I can hear them drumming away in there and yeah. Obviously, we're 
We're from the Friends of Josh Groban website, which is his fan club. We had, I had bought like this little glow stick thingy that was a dollar, and it says, I will shine to guide you on it by Josh Groban, because that's in his lyrics, I believe. So, incredibly funny this time around, like he said some of the same things he did in the other concert that I saw in Fresno, but this one he was like even more engaged with it. Um, the audience, he was super funny. Um, someone left him like a Hawaiian lei in the very beginning of the show and he put it on and was like, I just got laid and it's not even in the middle of the show yet. So like from that point on he was just hilarious. He would he even said like in the middle of the show when he was making like some <laughs> naughtier jokes, he was saying something like how this show went from being PG at the beginning when he got laid, blah blah blah. So it was really funny. Um, he started singing um, the SNL skit that Justin Timberlake did for the Dick in the Box, he started singing that song. Like just the very first thing he was like, one, cut a hole in the box, and then he stopped and he was like, count down to the end of my career. <laughs> and so, anyways, uh, I had a wonderful time. I sat next to two girls on my left hand side from Berkeley who were super sweet. Um, one, uh, they were both going to school in East Berkeley, they were actually from East Berkeley. Um, and one was a Republican, which was cool because you don't usually see those at Berkeley at all. <laughs> and um, I had a good time with them. And I came out, the concert was over, um, he sang Awake, which I love that song. It's, that's the song I've kind of fallen in love with later on. My first two favorite songs was So She Dances and the February song. So this one was the very last song of the album, it's called Awake, and the name of the album is called Awake. So kind of meaningful. Yeah, it's beautiful and there's two great swells of music that I just absolutely love and I have to turn it up. So, um, saying that, it was the end of the concert, I went to my car, put in a CD right away, woke up the next day and left around 9 o'clock and drove to Hume Lake, which is about three hours away. So, all in all, I've had a big weekend. Um, at Hume Lake, my parents were staying at a cabin and my brother and sister-in-law and my niece. So we all been hanging out for the past couple days, which has been nice, and that's why I look so grubby because I haven't taken a shower. <laughs> but either way, um, I'm driving home now, and yeah, that's basically my weekend trip seeing Josh Groban for the second time, and it was absolutely wonderful and definitely worth all the money that I spent for it. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good time. I'm sorry this is on a crappy camera, but my dad took away his big, his big camera, so I'm on the crappy camera again. I that's that for now, and you guys can see this crazy guy that's been staying in front of me and won't pull over forever and ever and ever, and he just won't ever do it, and it makes me mad. Who does that? Who seriously comes up and does not pull over when there's lots of people around him? Anyways, that's that. Oh, I have a chance to pass him. Peace out.